Hi, welcome back to the Cannabis Sommelier. I'm your host, Andrew Friedman. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Cannabis and Craft Beer Pairings. Today, I have a wonderful new brewery from Okotoks, Alberta, and one of my favorite producers from Alberta to pair with it. So let's dive right into the beer, taste it, start talking about it. Today, the beer I've chosen is Burmese Tree Alberta Pale Ale, APA, and this is from Six Corners Brew Works. As I mentioned, they're in Okotoks, Alberta. Uh, so just a little bit south of me where I bought my new house, which is nice. And Burmese tree. So, ooh, nice frothy head. The Burmese tree is kind of this cool historical site. Southwestern Alberta. It's like a limber pine. Died in the 70s and it left this cool, big dead tree. Standing, towering, watching down. And, uh... The town saved the tree. And so it's kind of this cool historical landmark. The Burmese tree. Standing true for our Alberta Pale Ale. It's the beer. Looks like it was filtered for sure. There is some haziness to it though, so it might have not gone through a bunch of filtering. The head was nice and frothy as I poured it. It's got this really nice like orange look to it. Orangey amber. A little bit gold. It's a little bit darker than I expected that it was going to be, actually. On the nose, the malt stand through on top, and then there's some grapefruity, some lemonness, and a little bit of kind of orange pith idea going on. It smells a little bit sweet to the nose, like a sweet, sweet uh, orange and tropical aroma. On the palate, very smooth, quite dry. Um, the body is quite light, really just a, a very crushable um, pale ale. The IBUs are quite low. It's probably 20 to 25, maybe 25 to 30 IBUs, so definitely not working on your palate at all. But it's got very pleasurable after flavors. Um, definitely a bit of that orange pith, uh, grapefruit, lemon, maybe a little bit of mango too. It's quite a nice beer. I don't taste much of the malt. Very smooth, very easy drinking. Today, I've decided to pair it with lemon pie from Wild Rose Extracts. And the lemon pie, I believe, is a little bit of a surprise uh, inside. I think it was a, bl it was a blend in the uh, production tube to create an amazing blend of terpenes, just like blending fine wines. Um, so a little bit of hidden genealogy. And you'll notice it took the heat seal off. Mmm, beautiful. And it looks just unreal in there. Tons and tons of diamonds, uh, nice and chunky, swimming in terps. It looks really cool. Let's open it up, check it out. Perfect. So big chunky diamonds, first of all. There's quite a few sizes in here, but they get quite large actually inside, which is which is nice. Lots of terps. Oh, and it just smells like creamy lemons, like lemon white cake, sour apples. It also has this very um, haze indicative nose to it. That would remind you of like amnesia haze or super silver haze, but there's also some really cool creaminess in there too. And the creaminess highlights these tropical fruits and really makes it like almost kind of smell like a, a really sour Mai Tai is a, is, a, is a good way to explain it, I guess. But extremely creamy, lemon cake, lemon chiffon, um, vanilla and lemons sour apples and that nice crisp uh haziness i i wish i could find a, a a really good describing word for that haziness but i think it's just indicative uh of one of the strains that went into it wonderful super floral there's also some really nice white flowers behind it it's quite a complex extract i think this was a really really nice blend and one i've been looking forward to trying again so from the beer to the extract or extract to the beer
it brings out like a fermented mango kind of smell and it. it makes it much more pungent and deep and uh kind of musky but in a really nice way musky and dank in in like a weed kind of way that we would re relate it to good weed wow and from the beer to the extract it actually made the extract smell a lot like menthol eucalyptus uh tea tree that was that was quite a large change Wow, yeah, totally makes it smell very minty, eucalyptus -y, menthol -y. Extreme changes, and then back, it's like it's like a fermented mango cup. That's super cool. Well, let's hope we get an extreme change on the palate, because that's kind of always what we're hoping for. I'd really like to see it do well every time. I only document it so that you guys can learn with me, because this uh, adventure would be no fun by myself. Follow me on Instagram at the Cannabis Song. Niche two, my email is at five twenty. Boy, am I happy I didn't take that first dab. Those diamonds expand like crazy. There's more of like this fresh, very fresh plant matter-esqueness to it on the palate. It's very nice and clearing like that menthol or eucalyptus feeling. And on the palate, it's just stuffed with that lemon cream that I had on the nose. Just kind of one, uh, once you taste it, all this culmination of everything that happened there. Nice long finish, but uh, I think the the kind of menthol eucalyptus seedness outweighs the lemon cream on my palate. Really delicious, really long lasting flavor. I think it's a wonderful pairing. It did exactly what it did to the beer on the nose. It made it that kind of fermented, mango-y smell. I feel like it ramped up the flavors. It definitely didn't detract anything from the beer. The body feels nice. The pairing felt really nice. Um, definitely a super solid pairing. Can't go wrong with that at all. Um, so I love beer in beer cans. And I don't know if I've talked about it in... 65 episodes, but I love making beer butt chicken. So get yourself a can of Burmese Tree APA from Six Corners Brewworks, Okotoks, Alberta, and shove it up the ass of a chicken. Put it in the oven and let it absorb all those delicious juices and then pair it with the exact same beer. And you're sure to have something great. How can you go wrong uh, cooking with what you want to drink it with? And uh, definitely go and find some lemon pie from Albert, uh, Wild Rose Extracts and... Uh, you know, pair that with your beer butt chicken. So, I hope you make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Till next week, cheers. Go.